Welcome back to Hobo Hollow. I have been super busy since you have been gone. Um, off camera, I have been harvesting the entire cornfield. And it is all harvested except for this last little row, which I'm going to do on camera so that we can celebrate the end of harvest season together. And I cannot wait to get started. This is Hobo Hollow Episode 8. Alright, so it is the end of harvest season for us. This last remaining row will be fairly quick. As you can see, the whole field is empty. And I chose to do this off camera just because it was it was the same thing. Like, night after night, it was just the same thing. I've been out here for a long time. It's the middle of the night right now, just past after midnight. And I started by always loading up the harvester and taking it over to the silo, which is over that way, emptying the harvester into the silo. And I thought, well, this is great. It's all I need to do. But then I started realizing that I needed to actually take some of it and make some immediate money so that I could buy, uh, for example, a bigger trailer so that I could pull the trailer up to the silo, fill it up with a bunch of corn, and then take that to the market when the price was right. Because right now I only have a very measly, pathetic trailer um, that can hold just a little bit of grain. And I walked away with a lot of corn. And I did not want to pull that little tiny trailer up to that silo over and over and over again. I needed to take some of that corn and take it to market right away and get some funds so that I could go ahead and buy a bigger trailer. And I think it is the bigger trailer that's going to profit us the most right now after I finish this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the old combine, turn on those uh, beacon lights make this final pass. I hope it's just one pass, but it might be two. Yeah, I just already missed, uh, already missed some corn there. So I cannot tell you guys how long it has taken to harvest this field. As you can see, I do not have an extremely large header. I have one of the smallest corn headers in the game, and so I've basically been harvest harvesting this field uh, four rows of corn at a time, sometimes five. It's a bigger field than I gave it credit, and it just took a long time. Plus, we got rained out for at least half a day, if not more. I decided to spare you guys the, the menial watching of, of my activity. <clears throat> just bring it back when the field was, when something else was ready to be done, which in this case is finishing up the field. We're going to buy that new trailer, um, and then... I think we're just going to sleep. I think we're just going to sleep until uh, planting season for the corn. We've got to buy, you know, all our planting gear, all of our gear that is not for just harvesting. I'm just going to go ahead and take this over to the silo. I know that I have enough money to purchase a wide variety of trailers at the moment. We're going to go ahead and get get a larger trailer because I know that we have a tractor that can pull it, which is fantastic. I was just on the mod hub earlier. And I was looking at all of the other tractors that I could download for mods and potentially buy and play with in the game at some point. And it's so fun and exciting to, to look at those and to envision, you know, having them on the farm at some point. I'm not sure how full the silo actually is. I know they can hold like 5,000 liters of, of crop, so it's not in danger of filling up anytime soon. I know that. However, it would be interesting to know how full it is. I'm going to go ahead and extend the uh, arm here. I don't know what the official word for it is, but I always love being able to extend it. I just think it's a really cool animation. And once we get this grain all into the silo, we're just going to hop out real fast and see how full the silo actually is. And I had to take several loads over just directly to the market and sell them. So what's represented in the silo is not actually everything that I took off of the field. But I'd say it's a good 60-70% or something like that. 
So use capacity, we're uh, just shy of 56,000 liters. Not too bad. I think that's going to give us a great chunk of change when it comes time to when it comes time to sell all that, which is not right now. The price price for corn is not optimal at the moment. That's because theoretically everyone is harvesting their corn and turning it in, which is creating too much demand, right? Or sorry, uh, too much supply. And I got to go back to my economics classes apparently. Um, there's some logs there that we never took care of. We'll have to get uh, eventually. But I hope that our days of chopping trees for money and sustenance is gone. We're coming up on a lot uh, more logs that I never got around to actually taking and selling. So we're going to go ahead and park the, uh, the big harvester. We're going to go ahead and lower that header like a proper farmer would probably do. Jump in our tractor. I just love those ginormous headlights and we're going to take this tractor out to out to get our new trailer we obviously need to have the tractor i apologize um my screen keeps flickering on and off i think i think there's a bit of an electricity problem in my uh every once in a while the electricity flickers just a little bit and it is a bit annoying i do apologize Hopefully, it will allow us to play without anything but minor interruptions. Um, after riding around that old Kramer, this tractor is just a dream. It's nice and quiet, it runs perfectly, and we can go 25 miles an hour, uh, which I just think is amazing. After running around at 11, 12 miles an hour for everything, it is awesome to double that speed up. Uh, the harvester tends to go about 12 miles an hour if it's not turned on, meaning if the if the header's not turned on. But once the headers are turned on, it drops down to about six, seven miles per hour. I had to do that whole field at about seven miles per hour. It was very, oh, watch out, deer. Oh, dang, okay. Oh, whoa, deer ran in front of me and then jumped on top of my hood. Thankfully, none of them uh, were injured in the process. Doesn't seem to be that way. This is a rather non-violent game. I feel like so I'm really excited to grab our our trailer and then um, we will have the ability to take a much larger volume of the corn to the market at the right time to sell it I think the right time to sell it's going to be right around um, planting season so I'm hoping that I can hit a good price sell off the rest of our corn and then we will have a decent chunk of change in which we can invest in planting equipment. Pretty sure we have to get a cultivator. Um, we've got to look at cedars, possibly like a weeder. Not only will we have the profits of our corn harvest, at some point we should have quite a few tomatoes that we can take, um, hopefully make quite a bit of money off of, in which case we can also funnel that towards future farm investments that we need. Um, somewhere in there is a storage shed for our machinery that will be piling up and accumulating. Also, I would love to move out of my big tent, although I do love the tent, I love the hammock. Um, a, a farmer wants a proper bed, you know, at some point, so that's always in the back of my mind as well, although it's entirely not needed for to have, to have a better game, you know. It's just one of those uh, aesthetically pleasing purchases it says it has a license plate but then i don't see the license plate anyways we're gonna go ahead and buy that beautiful so we're just gonna hook up this trailer hopefully uh definitely the front wheels are still on the ground it is taller than the tractor which is fine i'm gonna go ahead and speed up things for you as i drive back
All right, we're back. Um, my old tractor is still looking like a ghost. It definitely needs to be washed up. <laughs> so does the uh, harvester. Holy smokes. I guess that's what um, machinery looks like when you do a ginormous field. All right, so if we were to check the field status right now in the lower right corner, we could see that um, it's been harvested. Right now, the next step is really uh, not only weeding, but fertilizing. I think while I was up there, I should have looked at fertilizers, bought some fertilizer as well as a spreader. And our next step is really just to uh, fertilize. And we've got to also think about investing in a weeder but I think that I think that fertilizing gives a much more yield bonus than weeding. But I could be mistaken on that. I'll have to research that. I think our time with this episode is done. We were successfully able to go and get our impressive trailer. At least I think it's impressive. It doesn't match any of the rest of our equipment. But for some reason, I like the orange. And it will definitely be easy to find uh, if I don't park it where it's supposed to be parked. Future improvements I want to make is I want to clear out some of these trees that are a little close to the field, especially over this way. I want to turn this into like a gravel uh, or a dirt path and turn it into more of a, an auxiliary road. I find us bringing equipment in often and down here. Really, I need to examine whether I want this to be my hub for where I store all of the equipment and whatnot because there's not actually a ton of room before it just starts sloping way down, which we found out in <clears throat> like our first episode. Definitely things to think about. Of course, the greenhouse is still producing. Anyways, a lot going on on the farm. Thank you guys for sticking around with me. This has been episode eight. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I love you guys' support and I'll see you next time.